Hey there guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Today we're coming at you with a Russian ration. This is an individual ration, a stern ration and it is menu 18. We have a total of 1,363 calories in this ration and it is 650 grams in weight. So not a great deal. It's also still in date, 1st of June 2022. So not too long left on it but we all know they are best before. And the main in this pack beef with pasta. Let's take a closer look. There's no peelable seal. You literally do just need to cut into it and open it up. As you can see it's a nice thick plastic and we've got a lot of goodies inside. First out we have got our flameless ration heater. You can see we've got our instructions there and it goes up to 95 degrees Celsius. Next day at the pack, in a retort pouch, we've got a very nice looking beef with pasta. I bet that's very greasy in its own right. Gusseted bag as well, 250 grams. We have one tissue. Green. We have one packet of biscuits. Very unusual for a Russian ration. Usually they're overflowing with biscuits. We have a pate, which I believe is liver. 20 grams of sugar. A small apple water or apple gel we have a 30 gram kind of energy type drink 5 grams of I think is salt doesn't translate very well that one we have a Russian tea that is a bag we have our usual wipes one for us and one for our cutlery one spoon pepper a mint gum Mentos and what is probably a vitamin candy, sweet or bonbon, whatever you want to call them. That is everything. So that's it guys, this is our Russian Strum ration. Not a, a great deal of food, I've got one of the uh, White Snow Mountain rations and if you compare this to that, it doesn't compare to be fair. Let's get this onto a tray. Right then guys, there it is. Looks like a nice little feast doesn't it? First thing we're going to do we're going to put it inside our ration heater. You can see it's just the one pad down here. It's a nice wide bag. I'll take the instructions out because I'm guessing they don't need to be in there. This one. You can hear that starting to go already. It's going to get very warm. It probably needs about 10 minutes. The written itself is slightly pumpy. It smells very fruity, rather citrusy. Tell you what, we'll get that out of the way while it's doing its thing. Right, that made everything wet, so now that's out of the way. This, I believe, is liver pate. Right, let's open it up. It's got a very strong smell. Our crackers. Normal Russian crackers, to be fair. Now we wait for our main to heat up. Well, then, guys, our hot dinner is ready. We've got 
a nice full top layer so when you're out and about you can just eat it straight out of the bag but where is the fun in that it's quite hot There we go, pasta with beef. I have seen this in some of the other rations as a separate meal. And I've had a similar pasta with beef, but it was tiny pieces. Now, as well as the pasta and the beef, you know, you've got carrots in here, dried onion, fresh onion. Now, the recommendation is to eat it before eating it. Method, put the bag in the hot bag. Or a microwavable dish. Where are we going to get a microwavable dish in the middle of the field? I can't microwave it, can we? We can cook it over a pan, crisp up our pasta a bit, or we can, as we have done here, use our hot bag. Right, let's get cracking. As you can see, we've got our nice twisty pasta. We can see our little bits of shredded carrot in there as well. Not a great deal of beef, but a decent amount. There's about 300 more calories in this pack. All right, let's get a good blast then. There we go, guys. What do you think about that? That's quite nice, it's a, bit, a little bit salty. The pasta is very soft and it just breaks apart. Mm. The beef's like that crushed beef you get as well in the side packets and the mountain rations. That in itself is a very tasty dish. And I bet even with the crackers. It would go down a treat. Let's get some of that beef. Yeah. Mm. You've got your usual wheaty kind of stale taste even though the crackers aren't stale. Completely unsalted crackers, but not bad. Let's wash it down with some of this. It's not bad, it's a strange kind of pleasant fruity taste. Now our pate is, look at that, oh my days, that is soft. Look how soft that is, that is mush. Biggest fan of liver pate, but here we go. It's mildly grainy, it's very oily. Let's have some of this. Mm, that's better. I'm not too fond of that pate at all, but this. This is going to be the best item in the We all love a bit of apple jam, don't we? Always the same company as well. Some out on this spoon. Look at that. Lovely, nice, deep colour there. Smells so sweet. Mm. Got a very rich, fruity, apple taste. That is very nice. I don't even think if I was out in the field, I'd bother too much with the crackers, even though we haven't got many. I imagine a lot of people just suck this straight from the pouch. Mm, what's not to like about that? Yeah. Got our Mentos gum. I'll leave that till after I finish my main layer. We have got our gold sweet or hard candy. I don't know what flavour that is, but it's nice. I can imagine that being a nice little pick me up out in the field. As you start to get through, it's sweet and crunched down like very, very, very mild aniseedy type taste to it. Very nice indeed. And absolutely full of sugar. I can feel it coming in my mouth, but nice. Well then guys, this has been the Russ and Strum Russian menu 18. And what a pleasure it has been. I'm going to enjoy the rest of that main. I'm going to enjoy that jam. The liver pate, unfortunately. Is going in the bin. If we're doing chickens or something else, like not particularly liver, then yeah, I'd have eaten some more of that. If it had been that sausage meat, it's a bit like spam. I'm telling you, it would have, would have been gone. Alright then guys, so please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell button, and you'll know when I put out a new video. But most importantly guys, stay safe. I'll be back with you soon. More eats, treats, and MREs.